welcome to my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe, click on the bell to receive notifications. On my live show two days ago, when we mentioned what Allah was calling the Muslim women in Jannah, some Muslims got triggered and started to call me a liar and a deceiver. And now they are forcing me to do a short video and explain in further details what the true meaning of Uruban Atraba in chapter 56, ayah 37 is, especially the word Uruban. Allah is calling Muslim women Uruban in Jannah. What is the meaning of Uruban? So what did Allah call the queens of Jannah? <laughs> Uruban Atraba, the Muslim women, when they go to Jannah. What did Allah call them? What did Allah call your mothers, your daughters and sisters in Jannah? Ya Muslimin. Let us see. So this is the ayah. Chapter 56. Ayah 37. Uruban Atraba. Uruban Atraba. So I went to As-Suyuti. His book. Jalaluddin As-Suyuti. To show you what the meaning was last time. And I provided my own English translation. And immediately Muslims started to call me a liar and deceiver. As I mentioned. Here is the book of Al-Imam Al-Hafiz Jalal al-Din al-Suyuti. Ta'leef Al-Imam Al-Hafiz Jalal al-Din al-Suyuti. So, Suyuti's book. In his book, Shaqaq al-Atraj fi Raqaq al-Ghunj. In his book on page 69, as we mentioned last time, we can find the following. Here is the ayah again, Uruban Atraba, chapter 56, ayah 37 of the Quran, crystal clear in front of you. And here what the meaning is of Uruban. Here is the meaning of Uruban. Adbaqul Mufassirun wa Ahl al Lugha, ala in al Arab, Jam, Araba or Uruba, au Urub, wa inna al Qahba. So the meaning of Urub or Uruban is Al-Qahba, the whore. I truly did not want to use this Arabic filthy word, this filthy word in Arabic, but you Muslims forced me to show you what the Muslim women will be called in Jannah. Your mothers, your sisters and daughters will be called whores in Jannah. A whore. Now, Muslim ladies who are listening and watching, you are called, you are called a whore in the Jannah of Allah, in the paradise of Allah, by Allah himself. Because remember, the Quran is the speech of Allah. He's calling you Uruban Atraba. Do you have some self-dignity? Do you have some self-respect to accept that about yourself, being called a whore, Al-Qahba? By Allah himself and his prophet? Do you have some dignity to accept that your mother who gave birth to you, who carried you nine months in her womb to be called a whore? Ya Muslimin? Do you have some dignity to stay one split second in this evil, perverted, disgusting cult of Muhammad to be called like that? Ladies, Wake up, please. Let me play a short video clip from another Arabic speaker who's going to read the same book and confirm what I just said in the Arabic. وخش بقى على تفسير نص قرآني جميل جدا بقى في كتاب شقائق هلا نكبر كده شقائق الأترج في رقائق الغنج للإمام الحافظ جلال الدين الصيوطي. تحقيق وتعليق الدكتور محمد سيد رفاعي طبع الدرج كتاب العربي دمشق أو كتاب تاني مرة تاني شقائق الأترج للإمام الصيوطي في صفحة 69 بيقول يا جماعة أنا متردد والله معلش معلش بقى سمحوني بقى في صفحة 69 بيقول ايه 69 بيقول ايه قال تعالى في صفة نساء أهل الجنة 
إنا أنشأناهن إنشاء فجعلناهن أبكارا عربا أترابا الواقع 35 37 بص بيقول إيه بقى الكلام مش هتلاقيه على مواقع خدوا بقى الزبد بقى أطبق المفسرون وأهل اللغة شوف ما يجيش واحد مسلم يتمضرط يقول لك أهل اللغة المفسرون وأهل اللغة على أطبق المفسرون أهل اللغة على أن العرب جمع عربة أو عربة أو عروب وإنها القاعدة أنا آسف في اللفظ يعني مكتوبة كده في الكتابة جماعة اليوتيوب بيشوفوا بس مش هتشوفوا أطبق المفسرون وأهل اللغة على أن العرب جمع عربة أو عروب وإنها القح <laughs> now I want to ask any Muslim woman do you accept that about yourself do you have any honor self-respect or dignity to accept that about you to be called a whore a prostitute in the Jannah of Allah please wake up thanks for watching and God bless